Hi, my name is McClock. I'm here to teach you how to tell time by looking at the hands on my face. I mean, on an analog clock. There are two kinds of clocks. An analog clock like me, and a digital clock like that guy over there. Sup? Today we will learn about telling time with an analog clock. Can you tell me what time this clock is showing? <laughs> you are correct. It is 3 o'clock. So smart. If he can do it, you can do it too. Do you see the numbers on my face? Those are not freckles. Nor pimples. Those numbers help you tell time. By the hours. By the minutes. And by the seconds. When we write down the time. We put the hours, the minutes, and the seconds divided by colons. Do you see those needles rotating on my nose? Those are called hands. The longest and thinnest hand tells seconds. We call it second hand. The long and not so thin hand tells minutes. We call it minute hand. The short and thick hand tells hours. We call it, our hand. Each big number has five small numbers, which tell minutes and seconds. Since there are 12 big numbers, there are 60 small numbers. Do you know what that means? For every time the second hand goes full circle, which is 60 seconds, one minute has passed. The same goes for the minute hand. For every time the minute hand goes full circle, which is 60 minutes, one hour has passed. This means, one hour has 60 minutes. There is a special rule when it comes to minutes and seconds. Whenever the second hand and the minute hand are pointing at 12, we don't write 60, we simply write 00. zero. Let's look at the clock now. What number is the second hand pointing at? It's pointing at 12. Do we write down 60 in the seconds box? No, we write down 00 in the seconds box. What number is the minute hand pointing at? It's pointing at 12. Do we write down 60 in the minutes box? No, we write down 00 in the minutes box. What number is the hour hand pointing at? It's pointing at 4. So let's write down 4 in the hours box. So, what time is it? It is 4 o'clock. What about now? Let's see. The second hand and minute hand are pointing at 12. So the seconds and minutes are 0, 0. The hour hand is pointing at 6. So it is 6 o'clock. Easy, right? Now it's your turn. Can do you tell me what time is the clock showing now? Did you get 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock is the answer. What about now? The second hand is pointing at 12. So the seconds are 0, 0. The minute hand is pointing at 2. So the minutes are 10. The hour hand is pointing at 4. So the hours are 4. The answer is 4 o'clock past 10 minutes. Or 4.10. What about this one? The second hand is pointing at 3. So the seconds are 15. The minute hand is pointing at 4. So the minutes are 20. The hour hand is pointing at the numbers between 5 and 6. How do we decide which numbers to pick? Let's shade the area between the numbers the hour hand is pointing at. It's in the area between number 5 and number 6. Remember, always pick the lower number. In this case, the lower number is 5. 
so the hours are 5. The answer is 5 o'clock past 20 minutes and 15 seconds. It's easy, right? Let's reverse it. What about when someone says it's 2 past 35? Can you draw where the hands are pointing at? First, the seconds are not mentioned. We will assume it's 0. So let's point the second hand at 12. Next, the minutes are 35. So we need to point the minutes hand at number 7. Last, the hours are 2. So we can point the hour hand anywhere between number 2 and 3. There you have it. It's 235. Easy, isn't it? Remember, practice makes perfect. Just print the telling time worksheets and practice a lot. You will master it in no time. There will be a part two of this video though. In that video, we will learn about stuffs like quarter past what time, quarter to what time, half past what time, AM and PM. If you like this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe to Noodle Kids channel for more educational videos like this.